In many ways, it is easy to overlook mallards. They are North America's most abundant duck in terms of number, and the duck which has the greatest range. In many areas of the range, they occur year-round and are the most common ducks that can be found in many aquatic habitats. They are quite beautiful. They have a brilliant blue patch on their wings, known as a speculum. This is found in both males and females. And bright iridescent blue is not that common a color in birds. And male mallards have a brilliant iridescent green head. And green uh, in general and iridescent green, these are not common colors in birds. So why do mallards have these colors? I think many of us would begin by assuming that there is a green pigment molecule that feathers contain which give it this color. After all, melanin is a brown to black pigment molecule which gives brown to black colors to many feathers. There are carotenoid pigments which uh, birds can ingest from the plant material in their diet that can give the red color to cardinal feathers, the orange color of Baltimore Orioles, the yellow color to the feathers of goldfinches. There are other pigment molecules such as the porphyrins which can give some brown pigment to owl feathers. And so it might be easy to assume there must be a green pigment molecule. There isn't. If you were to grind up feathers which had the colors say black or orange or red or yellow, the powders that you would create would look black or red or orange or yellow. But green and blue feathers would look brown. That is because they do not possess green or blue pigment. Instead, it is the structure of the feather, perhaps more properly said, the nanostructure at the cellular level or even within the cells. It is the organization of the feather uh, proteins and the organization of the pigment containing melanosomes within the cells, which determines the color in the way in which they reflect light. There is a principle known as interference, which applies both to the color of feathers and also to the colors we see in these soap bubbles. There are two thin films of soap molecules, and when they reflect light, the light that is reflected interferes with the wavelengths coming from the other layer to give colors which were not originally there. And in the same way, it is the organization of the pigment molecules, and specifically in mallards, the cellular vesicles known as melanosomes, which contain these pigment molecules, which can be stacked in a way that uh, light interference creates green and blue colors. Note that different pictures of the same male mallard may appear as if it has more of a bluish head or a greenish head depending on how the light had hit it, not because of different pigment molecules in the feathers.